This example is also ternary, where we have three entities and we have a teach relationship. So this is a ternary example where we have three entities, course, textbook, and faculty, and we have a relationship teach. Now these, while you might think they're binary relationships or they could depict it as such, really they're all connected because if you want to keep track of a textbook, you can't say that all faculty use the same textbook. Um, it might be different in a course. You can't even say that all courses use the same textbook because it might be different depending on who's teaching the class. I might choose to use one textbook and another professor teaching database management systems might choose to use another textbook. So really, and, you, and so it's not just course and faculty if you want to keep track of a textbook. And it's not just textbook and course, and it's not just textbook and faculty because the textbook is dependent on the course, which is dependent also on the faculty member. Um, and therefore, this is a ternary example. But you could also have something that looks like this. Here, in this case, we have student enrolls in courses and courses are taught by faculty members. And here, in this case, there are multiple binary relationships. While student and faculty, we'd love for us to be connected in a relationship, but actually it's that faculty and courses have a relationship. Faculty teach courses. Student and courses have a relationship, students enroll in courses. Um, but together, the student and the faculty member, we don't necessarily need to depict the relationship of each faculty member and every one of their students. It's not necessary. But faculty, we need to know which courses they teach. We need to know the students and which classes they enroll in. Um, and therefore, these are actually binary relationships. It's not ternary, it's two different binary ones.